Hello, this is Catherine. and welcome to another Umbraco tutorial. In this tutorial, we will have, be having a look at creating the model for our contact form. And this, of course, is needed because we need to um, tell the form what data to send into the model and then send, or, or what the controller should expect, and then send the stuff from the controller into Umbraco. So, yeah, let's uh, start building the model. It's actually very easy. Just go into a test application. But there's a problem. The first thing we want to see is a nice folder called Models. But because this isn't an MVC project, but an empty project, the only folders that are, that are here are, of course, the Umbraco folders. So there is no Model, or actually there's no Controller folder either. There's only Views, because Models and Controllers are handled by Umbraco in the normal Views. Exactly how it's done, I'm not entirely sure but it's uh, some I think it's probably some JavaScript or something like that um, anyways so let's just go into a test application and uh, add a new folder we'll just call it models there we go now we can create or add I should say a new class and we'll just call this um, let's see contact model like this. That's, that's just how I like to do it. And of course I could just call this contact and so on, but I still like to uh, give it the suffix of model because when I suddenly have a whole lot of stuff up here I might have a, a page called contact, I might have a controller called contact and then I have a model called contact. Now if I have three contact tabs up here it will take me forever to figure out what the hell I'm doing. So yeah, I like to give it the proper suffix. Um, yeah thing about that at all. So yeah, let's start building it. Of course we have our namespace and some usings, uh, that's all uh, as it needs to be. So yeah, we need at least four parameters, I should say, I would say. Uh, the first one we need is the ID. Um, we don't actually have to, to, to use it, but it's nice to always have, and if you ever start building upon the, uh, the contact form or anything like that, you will probably be using the ID. So it's always good to pass in anyway. So what you do is, instead of writing all these long uh, git and set methods and all that, you just write P-R-O-P for prop, press tab and tab again. And then it comes up. So the first one will be the ID, and ID is always an integer. So of course ID is perfect, but you could change it. And then my property would be ID. Git and set, fine. Next, property, tab tab. And this time we want a string. And want a string for an email. There we go. Oh, let's just put that up a minute. Oh, uh, there we go. Right. Another property. This is an uh, int. Uh, oh, sorry, no, not int. We want this to be a string as well. And want a string of name. And another property of string. And this will be of message. There we go. It, t it tells me how many references there are to it and everything. Uh, yeah, so control shift B and save and build and everything and it all works perfectly fine. So, yeah, that is actually perfect. So, yeah, in the next movie, well, this was a very short one, but in the next uh, video I will be showing you how to build the controller. That's a bit of a longer uh, problem and I'm dividing these videos up so you don't have to look halfway through one video to find just the information about models, for example. So just trying to do everyone a favour. So yeah, see you in the next movie.